All right. So please, I'm start. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, Ariana, we're back with yes. our podcast, right? I know. It's been like kind of crazy because ever since we started, I feel like we just like have so many ideas. Like, oh, we I do. Talk about this. I know. So, I know. so I know. it's good. Because the purpose of this is to really just break down and make, I guess, a comfortable environment to talk about mm -hmm. our bodies. Yeah. And anything. Anything like, really, right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, just. Yeah, because I feel like a lot of, I guess, like our, the business that we're in is a little bit like kind of scary for patients, yeah. you know? Yeah. Or even people yeah. who are just curious about it, it's just like so foreign. Foreign is a good word for yeah. it, right? So I think we just want to like break down that wall. Break it down, unpack it, help yeah. people feel more comfortable with maybe the, the options out there mm -hmm. for them and yeah. improving their bodies. For sure. So today we are going to talk about um, questions. So just things that people are curious about that maybe they're like, this might be a dumb question, but <laughs> yeah, <for laughs> you know? Sure. Right, right. So um, we are doing no dumb questions. <laughs> No dumb questions today. So because we, there are no dumb questions. No, there are because, like, we want you to feel comfortable. Yeah. Um, and if you have a question, like, we have an answer. Yeah. So. Questions are good. Yeah. Okay. So we're just gonna start. Um, do I have to be a certain BMI? Um, and I feel like this could be for semaglutide or for procedure. So do you want to talk about procedure? Yeah, or? I will. I think that's one of the things that is awesome about what we do is there is no BMI. Right. So we and are, a lot of places do have They do. That there limit. are restrictions, limitations. Mm -hmm. People have to go lose weight. They can't just come in right away and get it done where we actually encourage come in, get it done. You know, we may we have packages sometimes where you may do a secondary procedure. Right. But that said, there are no limitations and that first procedure jump starts the body in awesome ways. So that's one thing we can help anyone, any body type, any BMI. Right. And of course, like our provider will make sure it's safe for you. Yeah. Um, you know, if you have a really small figure, we want to make sure that um, there's enough fat to take. Right, right. Right. Like all of those things are taken into consideration. Mm -hmm. Any health concerns, obviously. But the BMI question is one where we do get to say, no, there, there are no requirements right. there. Yeah, so, I love that. And for yeah. some glutide as well. Um, I know like on insurance, you have to weigh a certain amount, like, right. Um, and so some people like, you know, are 150 and they just have like, you know, I just want to lose like that last 10 pounds right? or, or even, you know, so right. I think that's kind of cool. Um, and again, we're going to make sure it's safe, but you don't have to like be a certain, yeah, BMI it's true to, yeah, to get to that. participate. Yeah. Yeah. So, um, do you have to get stitches after this procedure? Okay, so that is another one that we do not have to worry about. There's no stitching, there's no tearing, cutting. Uh, we go in with a punch hole that is just minimally invasive, and we and that heals all on its own. Right. So, so yeah, they just like make the smallest little, and that's just hole. for the cannula to go in. Right. right. So. It's just it is a three millimeter punch hole. If you've ever had a remole removed, essentially that's the it is the same mm -hmm. um, procedure, and we're able to go through that hole and suction out fat. It's pretty remarkable right. and you know we ask it get asked about scarring will i have scars um those scars it, if there is any they look they they're you so know small. they're it's, crazy. it's tiny right you have to look yeah because you when you look at the before and after pictures right. i'm always looking for, for that, that. Like, and you can't i know yeah it's, it's cool. like you know they, they usually will just be a little pink or a little white even like you mm -hmm. can't and the, over time they just they just go away so right. it's awesome right. and they just like bandage it up right and you'll have yep. We, some draining um, a little bit of draining because we do um infiltrate a fluid to create space for us to work in and 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 have those fat cells respond right. but so there will be some draining we the assistant assigned to you will do most of that draining okay. your body will do the rest it's just a natural process and so bandaging in the first few days and then you just watch those little holes just yeah. Just heal. That's so cool. So, so that cool. is actually bringing me to a question and we'll skip down. What is lidocaine and how does it work? Yeah, lidocaine. So the best way to describe lidocaine, the dentist, when you go in to get a tooth numb, right. they use lidocaine. We do the same for the body. Mm -hmm. So it is a numbing antibacterial agent that we put in for those two reasons. 
different, you know, to make sure that we're just going in and it's a, it's a, it's a great thing so that that body numbs. So just like a tooth numbs, the area of the body, the abdomen is going to be numb through that lidocaine. Right, and that's the first part of the procedure. It is. is the infiltration. We infiltrate a fluid, and in that fluid is lidocaine okay. and saline solution. And then epinephrine, which prevents bleeding and cuts down bleeding. So it's just it's just this cocktail that helps with pain, antibacterial, right? Um, you know, all of the all. It's, of, it's such a, a cocktail. It's, <laughs> it's a so cocktail. <laughs> I love it. Yeah, it's like our it's our famous cocktail. Yeah. For the best results, to just you know get get after those fat cells. Right. So. Um, so that kind of leads into talking about anesthesia. So somebody asked, like, why do I have to be awake for the procedure? Right. So I think that's kind of like, you know, when people hear like, oh, it's awake. scary. Yes, it's Daunting, scary. Right. Which like, why I would totally I want to be awake? Get. Like, and we do get that sometimes. Yeah. Why would I even want to be awake? Just knock me out. Right. Um, but even like Christy, she's one of our My Bell Story patients yeah. that we see all the time. Yep. We um, love her. She said it was kind of like going to the dentist. Mm -hmm. It is. And so, and like, I feel like people have different pain thresholds. People have, you know, like different reactions, I guess, to the procedure. Sure. Some people can just take a nap through it. Because, yeah. You know. Yes, it's so different. You'll but, get sleeping, yeah. talking, right. watching a movie, listening to music. And sometimes if they are uncomfortable, we have like our medical assistants there to kind of like calm them down. In addition to our massage therapist that right. will come in and just like talk them through it, rub their feet, head, you name it. Um, we're right there to offer a really comfortable environment right. with whatever your, that patient needs. And we do have the oral medications too. We do. We give oral medications so that they are, that is another cocktail mm -hmm. of just the perfect mix of, of comfort. Mm -hmm. Beyond that then, you know, we do get nerves sometimes and then that plays into... Yeah, just people nervous. And, it, and sometimes that makes the, the meds not work as well, but we, wa we, we work it, we work it all through. Right. I mean, we have just seen come just in, every. Pop we, Xanax, you know? <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, relax. people say, wow, it was the greatest relaxation. Yeah. It was just like you just get to relax, really. Take a long and, break. and again, everyone's different, but the reason you want to be awake, so that's the big key, right? right? Yeah. Like, why not just knock our patients out? Is because it's so much easier on recovery. Mm -hmm. And with our transfer patients, we get to communicate with them. We get that's to sit so them true. up. Do you like it? Is this enough? Do you like your uh -huh. chest? You know, do you like your booty? Like it is, it, we get to talk to them. Right, and you can like see what's going on. Right. You know, it's right. not like, oh, you're out and who knows? You no, know? you're, you're aware, you're comfortable, you're medicated, mm -hmm. but you are awake so your body will respond better. We're not, it is just, it is, it just is, it, it allows us to have a minimally invasive procedure. Right. Um, yeah, because I feel like there are a lot of complications that can a lot. happen. There with, are. You know, general anesthesia. So, yeah, so it cuts that out right. so that our, our patients, we encourage them to be wheeled out, and that is our protocol. Um, but you know, they're right in their car. They walk into you know to their homes. They're right. they're going to sleep off the medication. But it is much better mm -hmm. to be awake. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's so true. Um, let's see. Um, do you guys remove skin? Um, so we get this question sometimes, like with our mommy makeover. I feel like people wonder, like, oh, is it a tummy tuck? Like, are yeah, you, are you taking? Skin? Yeah. So we don't, right? right? right. So do we you want do to talk not. a little bit about? Yeah, we don't. But the skin is interesting because part of after going in after those fat cells, there is there is a natural collagen release right. that helps that skin. It has to adhere back to muscle because here's muscle, here's fat, here's skin. We we're removing fat. That skin adheres back to muscle, mm -hmm. and there's a tightening that impacts that skin. Mm -hmm. So though we don't remove skin and you know we don't even say we tighten skin in this procedure, but there is a tightening and an improving of skin texture that we see. And that's where all the post off stuff kind of comes yes. into play where yes. you know we want you drinking water, we want massage is like a huge massage thing. Massage is huge. Yeah, we we wash that skin, we 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 have a mass massage therapist assigned to you. Like we are literally walking you through best case scenario mm -hmm. in your in your post ops and your time with us. So right. you know, it's just you're going to have success. Yeah. I mean that's that's the cool part. Yeah. Um, can I take fat from my stomach and put it in my boobs? Yes. <laughs> I know. Isn't that cool? I know. It is, it, it is crazy. When I first started, I was like, wait, really? 
Because well, doesn't it sound like something like, oh, well, I just want to take this. No, really. Here, when I know? was in high school, I think that was the big joke. We'd yeah. always joke about yeah. it. Like, well, you know, I just want to take some of this and, and put it where yeah. I want to put it and just, or just get rid of this. Mm -hmm. I don't like, you know, it, and it was like, yeah, that, that's a dream. Like that's never happening. Yeah. So to be able to actually do that. Yeah. That's crazy. Yeah. It's so cool. fat transfers, we can transfer from other areas. It doesn't just have to be your stomach. You know, you can do your nope. thighs, your nope. arms, your... No, your we've had really animals. lean patients that we just basically take from everywhere, anywhere right. we can take it from right. just to get that transfer done. Mm -hmm. So we've gotten really creative with leaner patients, um, you know, but it doesn't matter. I mean, like we just go after whatever area right. you want and then we are able to enhance areas that you want as well. Right. Awesome. And so, and then we can transfer it to the breasts or um, the butt. So yeah. yeah, that is cool. Yeah. I, I mean, because you just have... I don't know. I think as a woman, you you have these kind of ideas of how a woman should look and how you right. want to look and right. I want to be feminine. And that's something that, you know, like you could never do. do. You know, like I can't, no matter what I do. It's well, like, and it's crazy and it's fast. That yeah. was the biggest, the coolest thing when I sat there. Because, you know, you, the fat removal is what it is and, and that over time even gets better and better. But when you transfer, it's instantaneous. Right. I mean, you're all of a sudden like, you're kidding. Like yeah. it's enhanced immediately and naturally and it's just it's insane yeah one of our patients was like so excited because she's like i had to go buy a new bra because yeah, i, had I to know get a bigger size no i know like, it's so cool it's so fun it's yeah. fun to see those instant transformations because yeah. transformation and with our fat with our fat removal though it is instant you know there is a little bit of swelling so there you know there's a little bit of a waiting game in those right. first few post-ops just post -ops. to see what it is going to be yeah. long term yeah but um yeah the transfers are just so fast, yeah. so fun. So with that, we have, um, can I transfer from somebody else? Okay, we get that all the time. <laughs> I know. No, that well, actually would like be the dream. Kind of, I know. That would be the I dream. I wish. Because we have husbands be like, can I just give her some of mine? Yeah. And like, or, or like, oh, like, I wish I could just, you know, like, oh, you can have some of mine because yeah. I don't need it. <laughs> that would be, that would be the dream. I know, but That no. is no. No, that <laughs> cannot do that. That wouldn't Not safe, work. not sanitary, we're just... No, no, we can't do that. Right. So. so your own fat, your own transfer. Your own fat. Yep. Um, okay. So do you want to go through? There's a few more on here. Um, we have just starting here. Okay. Um, this one, right? Let's see. Oh, we did that one. This oh, one. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Um, who is going to be in the room with me? Okay. So I feel like that's kind of... You know, because it is a scary thing. You're, and it shouldn't be, but it is because right. it's a very like, oh, I'm going to do this. Yeah, and it's exposed. And you've never done this before. And I mean, most people have never. We've done just this given before. you a cocktail of medication, so yeah. you know it's like, okay, wait a second. Right. What's and so happening? So some people do ask, like, oh, well, can I have somebody there with you? And we tend to say no. no. Yeah. Because we, it is, it's a long procedure. Our patients do better with just like the medical care. Right. And usually spouses or partners, it's just, it just stresses everybody out. It does. It really does. And really, so just, and for like, you know, so many reasons, um, sanitary reasons, all the things, like we just mm -hmm. are sterile filled. So we, we just, but we treat our patients red carpet. Right. Like it's. Right. So, so it's just, it's a few hours. Um, we have the medical assistance. We have your provider. Um, and really like anything you need, like we're so happy yeah. to help, you know, yes. like yes. they will put on music for you. They will talk to you or they won't talk to you. If you don't want to talk, if you want to just like right. chill by yourself, like that's fine. They'll and it, you know, in most cases, our patients tolerate it perfectly. They, they, right. Like you said, they sleep, they laugh, they yeah. watch TV. In cases where they don't, we slow down, we wait, mm -hmm. we we are really considerate to trying to make sure mm -hmm. they know it's good. So yes, no, it'll be in the procedure. It is the provider and an assistant. Mm -hmm. And in some cases you'll see two assistants, right. but, and the patient. So it's a really like, again, just red carpet one-on-one -on -one experience. For sure. Yeah. Um, okay. If I'm awake, um, what will I feel and what will I be doing? Mm -hmm. So we've kind of talked a little bit about that. What will I feel? Um, yeah. So I think the, I guess the part that you would feel the most is the initial infiltration. Right. So that that part is the probably what we we've heard a lot of comments of that's a little uncomfortable. Mm -hmm. um, again, you're medicated. Mm -hmm. So th that lidocaine, just like anything else, when you're getting that first initial uh, right. shot, the dentist. Yes. You know what I mean. So it'll be a little bit that, and then the numbing sets in. Mm -hmm. 
we do have to take the area of your body up before we bring it back down. Mm -hmm. So that's an, a, an interesting feeling. You're going to feel is, numbness yeah. and swollen kind of, again, like if it's so dental like in some ways, yeah. like where you're feeling like your face is this big. Mm -hmm. So the body becomes a little bit bigger because we need to make room. We want to gently go in after those fat cells through vibration. Right. So that's essentially what you feel. So you kind of, you feel like a, a little, marshmallow. Yeah. A bit of a marshmallow. Yeah. Well, and, and you can kind of see it too, like when they're infiltrating and they're, you know, putting all that saline and that cocktail in. Yeah, it's kind yeah. of just like, oh, a little giggly. It's, it is, it is. And it just feels so strange. Yeah. You know, like, wait, I came in to get smaller. What's happening? I know. Um, and then when we go in and we're able to, uh, then we go in and we're able to suction and we mm -hmm. suction that down. And, and by then I feel like patients are not. Yeah. So the next step is much. you're feeling is a gentle vibration. Yeah. So what I, what I feel like it feels like is a massage chair, but inside of you, right. you know, that feeling yeah, that kind of rubs little, up against uh -huh. your bones a little bit that that's, but it's inside. So that's the best way I can describe what it feels like, what you'll be feeling right. while you're in procedure. It's just this vibration inside and it's an unusual for sure right like i don't we think we don't it's, have things like that go on inside our body right and i don't think it's like necessarily painful but yeah it is just kind of weird yeah and like that's okay and yeah i think one thing that i really liked when i sat in on a procedure um is the provider was saying like anything you feel like this is supposed to be happening so don't worry like yeah. yes it may be different for you, but just know like you are safe. Yes, I'm taking everything's care of normal. You. Everything that seems strange yeah. is, is normal. And honestly, we're removing fat cells. Right. I mean, how cool like, is that's that? That's a big thing. How cool yeah. is that? Yeah. You know, when you're able to go collect a whole canister of fat cells that are not coming back, that are full of hormones, mm -hmm. that have been impacting your life. And you can like see it. Yes. And, and so that's essentially what you're going to be feeling. You're going to be feeling numb. You're going to be feeling a little out of it, depending on how the medication hits you. Right. Um, and again, and yeah, it is, I mean, just like anything, it's Everybody's just different for different. everybody. And we explain that and right. we're very aware of that. And we watch for that. So that's what you'll be feeling. And what will I be doing? We give you a lot of options. Mm -hmm. we, you can talk to us. You can listen to your own music. You can watch a show on Netflix. Um, we can put you music can sleep. on like out we can, loud. Anything. We, can... we give you opportunity. You, you tell us, right. but essentially that's, that's what you'll be doing and really just relaxing. Mm -hmm. um, our patients that we just, they say, just come in a, in a relax, just try to relax, just mm -hmm. know. And that's kind of what helps everybody. Yeah. Is when you can just, and it is hard because if you, this is new, this is different, you know, like somebody is putting something in my stomach. You right. Know? But yeah, the more you can just kind of relax and Trust let those the process. medications work, yes. the easier, like the easier Trust it. it will be. And I think we do a lot to try to get you to trust the process because mm -hmm. if you do. Right. And you have your consultation before somebody's going to walk through the so process. So much walking through. There's a pre-op. Mm -hmm. There's so much education. You're going to really understand what you're getting into. Right. Now, you know, when you get in there, it's, it's always a little bit like, okay, like you don't, you've not had something in most cases done like this before. Mm -hmm. um, people that come back for a second procedure, they're, you know, they're just ready. Like, yeah. like I, I get this. I, and it's almost like the body almost gets it too. Like right. we've seen, like oh, I know what to do here. <laughs> yeah, it's 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 good, but yeah, it's all good. Um, what happens at a post-op appointment? Okay, yeah. So this is after the procedure. Um, we have our patients come in, um, and it's one to three days, seven to ten days, mm -hmm. thirty days. Thirty days. Yep. And in some cases, ninety days. Right. So that's the process. That one's kind of optional, right? Mm -hmm. yeah. Yep, it is. Depending on if someone wants to do another procedure, mm -hmm. follow up with the provider. There's, but that that's essentially it. And with each of those post ops is a massage, mm -hmm. at least the the, the first two. two. Yes, and you have an opportunity to do more if you choose. You can do as many massages as you want. Yeah. You just pay per. So it's awesome it that we nice. have that program because it just is. It's calming. It is. It it helps the skin heal. I love our massage therapists. And here. they are. They're the heart. <laughs> They're I the know, heart. They really are. Yeah, and I, I feel that, you know, you get to go in and they are just calming and right. kind and they and inform you know, they're informative. Right. So just help you understand, oh, this is normal. Mm -hmm. All of it's normal. Mm -hmm. And so we've loved that. Yeah. About that program. Yeah. So I think the post ops are, are nice just so you can yeah, make sure everything is good, everything's healing properly. Yes. And then yeah, those massages physically, mentally, emotionally, I feel like they're just so good. Yeah. You know that one to three day post op? Um, Mari here in Draper jokes, oh, it's like, you you hate me, right? You hate me right, now, buyer's yeah. remorse type of thing. Because people are sore, they're sore. and they're tired. They're and, sore and they're yeah. in compression and, 
you know, but then by seven to ten, they're like, I am feeling so good. Because and, they you know, difference. Yes. And, all of a sudden, you know, swelling's, you know, going down. And they and then it just gets better and better. Right. And gets better. To be honest, this procedure gives back. I have seen results, personally, in like up to a year. You start to see the skin tighten, yeah. get better and better. And you're yeah, just so like. Yeah, so you do see those immediate results, but then you just like. It keeps tame. going. And I've heard that from so many mm -hmm. people. Um, just the fact that this procedure continues to get back. Mm -hmm. Uh, especially if you partner with some form of right. healthy living, right. nothing crazy extreme, but just like healthy habits. I think for a lot of people, you know, we're so used to doing the, you know, I'm dieting, I'm exercising, I'm doing everything I can, yeah. not seeing any results. Yes. Right. And now, and this is something that just like immediately you get results. Jump so then starts. you have the motivation like, oh, like I can keep going. Right. Because look, like I look great, I feel great, and I can keep going on this. Closer journey. fitting better. I like yeah. myself in the mirror better and it just it's just that jump start. Yeah. So and that's what we have a lot of we have a lot of return patients. They're like, Okay, I did my right. abdomen, now I wanna do whatever, my chin, mm -hmm. my inner thighs. That's another yeah. thing people ask, like, is this do I have to come in multiple times? No. no. Um, the only reason would be to treat other areas. Yeah, or if right. you want more. I mean, in yeah. most cases, we get as much as we can pinch, and in some cases, people come back to just grab a little, a little, bit, little bit more. more. Right, um, but it's not one of those things where it's like four sessions, you have to come no. in every few no. weeks, you no. know? No, no, you have a procedure, you go through the, the post ops with us, and mm -hmm. we guarantee results, so, yeah, you know, that's it. Um, a funny question we do get sometimes, because we really stress compression, wear your compression, because the compression really is your best friend. It will mm -hmm. train your skin to adhere back to muscle. Right. So, it, and and in doing that, then you want to wear it as often as you can. And I think a lot of patients too, we hear like, I don't want to take it off anymore. You know, out there 30 days, yeah. they feel safe. It's, it's shape wear. Yeah. And it, it actually makes you look great. But, um, <laughs> but, but yes, it's important. Uh, so we say we're at 24 seven. Um, so people are like, do I actually have to shower in this? Like, that's a question, right? <laughs> no, <laughs> um, no, you, you don't, can you can it take off. it off to shower, you know, and, and that's twice a day. We say, you know, take it off, shower, massage, massage. Right? Yeah. And you wear it, you know, you wear it in that 30 day process. Mm -hmm. So, but we, you know, it, it fits under clothing. People aren't going to notice. You sleep in it. Y yep, you sleep in it. And really, it's crazy what it does. It just right. helps train that skin. And mm -hmm. so as long as you can be in it, it is really helpful. So yeah. you have to shower in it. Um, I've had conversations where I say, well, you can't take, you know, you can't bathe in the, until those little holes. Um, so then I've had people say, I can't, I can't take a bath. Like, I can't bathe. I can't do anything. And I'll, I'm like, oh, no, 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 no. I'm so please, sorry. You just can't shower. get in a bathtub. A bathtub. <laughs> Wash you your know? hair. Yes, please. You absolutely please shower. That's yeah. important, actually. Yeah, so swimming baths. Swimming yeah. baths. And that's just pretty much for that about 10 days mm -hmm. till those um, little out at sites or holes mm -hmm. um, heal. And that's just to prevent infection. Right. So, yeah, you don't have very many limit limitations. Mm -hmm. um, you have to, you know, in that 30 days, your body tr transforms in crazy ways. Right. So you want to schedule it at a time that you can run around in compression and mm -hmm. don't need to go to the beach and, you know, whatever. Right. But it, yeah, but otherwise, I feel like that's why, like, winter, right now, winter is such a good a time really to treat. popular time. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so just before summer, getting ready, you know, February, March, Get that, yeah. April. Summer even. body ready. Yeah. yeah. We treat all year long um, because people work, so they still mm -hmm. have to go to work and they right. can fit that compression um, in that time frame. But that was something else. Somebody, <laughs> when I was talking to one of the medical assistants today, they were like, yeah, somebody asked if they could treat the same day of their consultation. So they were here and they're like, can I do it today? We have so many people that I want wish. that. I mean, once they sit down and have <laughs> that like conversation, so they're like, excited. I am sold when I want, you know, can right. I treat tomorrow? And, you know, we actually do try to get you on as quick as we as can. Soon, yeah. Um, we have a pretty, a pretty full schedule, but we do mm -hmm. try to do it. Because once you're like, I'm in, mm -hmm. like, we try to get you in as possible, as fast right. as you can. And after your consultation, you can book. You can. You know, with you can right absolutely there. book right, right there. You can also go home and, and like, understand the information. Mm -hmm. You can. I and mean, there's just, like, no pressure. Like, nope. if you nope. are interested and you're like, okay, I'm ready. Nope. Like, we're happy. Like, let's take payment. Let's schedule, you know. We have we, a, we'll do whatever you in want. In two weeks, we're, we're ready. You if know? you're motivated and you want to go, let's get you but there. But if you're if like, you I'm need a minute go to home, take I'm going to talk to my husband. I'm going to think about this. I'm going to see decision. when the best time is. Yeah. I yeah, think. and I, th I think that's what I love most is we really are here just to offer solutions. It's mm -hmm. not high pressure. It's just a place to come and learn. Right. Yeah. So. I love that. Yeah. And questions. Ask all the questions. I know. You know, we love questions. I know, because I know sometimes it is it is hard, like, 
Is this just like something that I, am I just dumb? Like do other people no. know this and I don't know? We get it. We've had every question. We have every question. Yeah. Yeah. So it's good. Yeah. I love that. Yeah. So okay. I think it's just fun to be able to, you know, like talk about these things and be able to just educate people. Yeah. Let you, let everyone know who Belle is, right. who we are. Um, and, you know, it's just, I appreciate people spending time with us, getting to know us. For sure. Yeah. it's It's been so good. And I feel like one thing is just, if you are curious, book a consultation. Just book a like consultation. You, it, you'll never regret it. It doesn't cost any money. Nope. It's only 45 minutes. You're going to you love can, the staff. Yeah, they're so You're going to love the, the experience mm -hmm. um, because the whole goal is just make sure that when we have someone come in, they're going to leave happy. Whether they want a book or not, Right. they're going to feel like they had a really cool conversation. Right. So, yeah. yeah. Um, that's all for um, this week, but yeah. we're so excited to you keep going with this. Yep. Message us with any ideas or topics that... Yeah, please. We, we just want to address any concerns, any thoughts, anything. Yeah. So, so we'll see you next kay. week. Bye.